Now, EU finance ministers have failed to agree details for releasing the next tranche of last year's massive bailout for Greece. The decision was postponed until July with the condition that Athens implements fresh budget cuts. Fears of Greece defaulting made British banks hold back tens of billions of euros from the lending market. A former deputy speaker of the Belgian parliament claims bailout cash intended to help Europe's struggling economies is instead being pocketed by the wealthy. Crises like these are considered big opportunities by big financial institutions. It was so in the past and it is so today. Where is the money gone? Well, I think you don't have to look far. The money has gone to financial institutions, to wealthy elites who are actually benefiting from this crisis. Bailouts, what kind of bailout, for who, for what purpose? That is the question. The bailouts that we had so far was, look, we give you all this taxpayer money without any conditions so you can keep on going doing what you did. That is not the kind of bailout that I support. All the social achievements of the last 30 years are put in jeopardy by these financial, so-called financial reforms. And the thing is, this is a question about what is democracy and what is democracy for. I think democracy is for the people, not for financial institutions. It's as simple as that.